Until somebody comes over here with fishing poles and then they want to talk and then I'll have to leave. Okay. Huh? Yeah, we stay right on that thing. And why we fish with the heavy line? The bite time is super small and sometimes they'll bite for one hour. But we're getting them in 15 minutes, 200 pounder, because we're grinding them right in and we get them right back out of here. As they gaff it, we're on our way already. You can take the pictures and stuff while we're flying it, because I want to get it back out there and kill another one. If I got two guys on the boat, I want four. If I was allowed 10, I'd want 20. I don't know, I've never had it. I know it's hard to believe, but I've never had enough of anything. When you get bit, are you throttling no. up? No. And what are you doing with your other lines? Do you have like- No three other three? lines out, not one. If one line out with this young flyer. Why? Why? Because all the other stuff we don't want. We don't want a little baby Dorado. We don't want a little baby yellowtail. We don't want anything that's going to come in the propeller wash and eat one of those lures. That's not what we're after. We're after King Kong. We want that 200 pound bluefin. He does not bite the other crap behind the boat. If he did, that's what we'd all do. So we don't want anything else but this kite rod with that yummy flyer, one bait. Guy asked me yesterday, he sells kites for a living. He goes, why don't you fly two? What happens when you fly two, Mike? You hook two fish at the same time. That sucks because you cannot drag the one up. Now you got one going this way and you got one going that way. It doesn't work. You want one at a time. 200 pounder. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Um, are you chasing them down then? Do you try and keep that line to a minimum? Are you backing once, down on them? Or? Once we get bit, the boat goes in and out of gear, down swell. So I'm doing like a half a knot, a knot. I'm keeping the rod bent the whole time. I am watching. All I'm doing is I got my hands on the controls. I'm watching the rod. I can tell when you stop winding, the tip comes up. I don't need to watch you, even though you're hot and you got a nice looking head, I'm, not, I'm watching the rod. So as soon as the tip comes up, I drive faster forward because that means you needed to pick your nose or scratch your butt, and now the fish is gonna throw the lure. As long as the rod is bent, you cannot get that lure out of his mouth in any way, shape, or form. As soon as they're slack, and these bluefin, you guys have seen it a million times, what do they do? They shake their head violently. All that you'll feel it on the end of your right, like whoa, 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 baby. Not if you keep the tension on him solid, he can't move his head. You don't want to back down on him. You want to always be walking him forward because it brings him up to the surface. When we first started doing it, and we were hooking these 100 and 200 pound fish, we would stop and let you fight it. And he starts doing that death circle, and he'll come up on the surface right on the outside. Then when he comes around, he ducks down under the boat. And then he comes back around on the top. Then he, and you're going. Really? And he'll do that for hours and hours and hours. And then my buddy said, hey, dummy, put the boat in gear. Keep him from doing the circle. Keep his head headed straight up the whole time. I'm not talking about eight knots. Not half a knot, not half a knot, not half a knot. But he's walking him up the whole time. Always have him headed towards the boat. Plus, that way you're in control of the battle of the fish. Not Even though your buddy thinks he's catching it, you're catching it right with the boat. Do you ever fish the kite uh, with a yummy flyer at drift on a windy day? No, because the flyer won't do what it's supposed to do. When we're drifting with the kite, we're using bait. Yeah. A mackerel or a big, big, big sardine. But what we found is if you go to that style, now you can't use this giant reel and you can't use the super heavy line because you're finessing a bait out there. And once you start to finesse the bait and you don't have the drag of the boat dragging the kite, the 200 pound or the 130 pound, not gonna fly. It's gonna keep dragging down and getting a bow and then touching the water. So then you gotta go down to 80 pound and now you're gonna have to fight this fish in a harness because you can't pull on it with 80 pound with the boat unless you back the drag off a lot. And 
So you want to use 130 on the cut. If you could use steel cable, we would, because the line doesn't touch the water ever. I have 400 pound floral on here, and I would use a thousand pound, but it won't fly. 200 pounds, the heaviest line you can get to fly in the kite. 400 pound floral, they aren't breaking it. And that's it. This is the length of my leader. There's no other leader. It's tied straight to the 200 pound. Goes right here, you know why? Because when this is in the rod holder, like this, and you wind it up to the tip, there's a dead fish right there. If you have a long leader, now you have to do all kinds of fancy stuff. Grab the leader, start trying to pull them in. We grind them right up to the tip, right before the, the swivel hits the tip, and then we stick a big gaff in them. But if it's too long, you can't get them, and then you play with the leader, and there's no need for a leader. The only reason people put leaders on is so that the fish doesn't see the line. But we don't care because the line never touches the water. If the line's touching the water, you're not doing it right. This yummy flyer, no matter what the people that wrote the books tell you, it doesn't work flying. And it doesn't work digging underwater. It goes from wing to wing on the surface. You have to keep adjusting it all day. All day the wind changes. One minute it's blowing 12 knots, then it's blowing 20 knots, then it's blowing eight knots. You gotta wind the line in, let the line out, wind it in, let it out. You constantly gotta be working it so that it's making contact with the water. Does that make sense? I thought you only wanted it about 20% of the time actually in the water. They what? Wanted it, I thought no. you wanted it, really? That's an old wives tale that was written by someone who doesn't do it. We did it. We had, I documented 49 over 200 this year on fish dope. You can look at all the pictures. I want to do what the guy that got 49 does. That's what I want to do. Just like I know how to make a hamburger, but I want to make, if I'm going to sell them, I want to do what Ray Kroc did. And so you just want to do what's successful. And like I said, you probably read that. Remember the people that are writing, they're writing because they don't know how to do. You have to use a scale because you cannot pull that line with your hand. So you put the tip, you put it in the rod holder. You wind it up, you clip the scale onto the swivel, and you go like this. And when the if the line doesn't come out when you go like this, you gotta back it off a little bit. Go like this, and then it'll go to 50. And you go, well, that's too tight. Back it off a little bit more. Go like this, it'll go to 40. Well, we can make it a little bit tighter, 42 pounds. It's all gonna depend. If you're using 130 pounds like most of you will use, I would use 34 to 38 pounds of drag right in that zone because of 130 pounds. When you get to the 200 pounds, you can jump it up to, you can go almost to 50. 50 though, I broke it off last year. I, went, I was getting greedy. We had five on the boat already. I'm like, let's just kill this one fast. He broke the line. Louie, how are you? I don't know, how am I doing? All right, guys, look. We've come to the end. And I know I only talked for two hours and I apologize. I, all this stuff, these are for your sunglasses, okay? You guys can have that. These are lanyards for your fishing license or the leash to tie up your kids or your wife or your dog. <laughs> and what else do I got? Oh, I have a large shirt. Large? Really? Honey, somebody didn't tell you. <laughs> That's all I got. How about the reel? 131. Oh, the reel? Yeah, because you're such a good guy, you can have this. <laughs>